Hello everyone, welcome back and today I'm going to show you the top three free Minecraft server hostings. So all these server hostings today are free and there is one in here that is kind of 24-7 just for 10 days and I will show you which one that is very soon as well. So the first one here is Minehut. Now a lot of you have probably heard about this one but this is one of the better server hostings out there for free. So I will leave a link in the description down below to the website and yeah basically once you're here you can basically read about the server hosting and you come down here further you can read more about it but just to get started you want to click on create my server once you are here you're going to want to sign up or log in once you've signed up now you can basically create a server so give your server a name so just like that give yourself a name and click on create and apparently that name is already in use so i'll try something different so once you've made yourself a server you will come in here into my servers as you see i have got a few of them here but the one i have created is at the bottom here slow game one two three now from here you can change the version of your Minecraft server as you can see right here I've got 1.20.2 you can change that by clicking the little edit button so just like that click on the edit button you can change this to whatever you want so to activate your server just click on the activate button just over here now it looks like it's going to take 30 seconds for my server to get started so I'm going to wait for my server to boot up so as you can see now mine has loaded up it actually took around about a minute to load up so a little bit longer than 30 seconds but once you are here you can change a bunch of stuff in here you can change the version once again you can have a backup over here you can also change the ip for your server you've also got the stats as well so you can see how many players are online you also got your console as well so you can add commands and stuff like that so you can get yourself opt you've got the add-ons i'm not too sure what this does but yeah it looks like you can add some add-ons and it looks like it is just like plugins and stuff like that you can see essentials x you can add all this stuff if you want to You've got file manager as well so you can manage your files and your own plugins and you also got your backups as well so to see your ip for your minecraft server just hover over this little thing just here and right there you can see the ip for your server as you see mine is slowgame123.minehut.gg so that is my minecraft server ip you use that to join your server and you also give that to your friends as well so that is how you create a server in Minehut. And let's go into the next server hosting. So the next one is minecrafthosting.pro. So this one here offers a 24 seven server for 10 days. So basically it's a free trial for 10 days and uh, yeah, you get it 24 seven. Your server does not shut down. So what you're gonna wanna do is click on the little free man just over here. So once you click on the little free man, they will give you more options and tell you what you will get with your server. You can see the CPU there, the memory, and you can see how much player slots you can have as well. Um, by default, I think it's only four. So what you want to do now is come down further and you can choose the locations. But in my opinion, Paris seems to be the one of the best ones. And uh, I think if you select a different one, I don't think you can get it for free. So the Paris, I think, is the only free option. So I want to click on Paris and then come down further. Here, you can add your own name for your Minecraft server. So there is my server IP. This is what you're going to use to join your Minecraft server. So make sure it's something pretty simple. So next you can choose the version for your Minecraft. So you can have vanilla, uh, you've got your spigot, uh, craft bucket for plugins and things like that. You've got your forage as well. And you've got a bunch of other ones in here. But I'm going to choose the vanilla. Click on that. And now you can choose your version as well. I'm just going to click on the latest one just there. Now scroll down even more. As you can see just here, it is 10 days for free. And uh, yeah, keep coming down. Also, you've got your options as well, so you can see all the options here. This is what you get with your free server. And now from down here, I'm going to click on order. As you can see, it is for free, so click on order. Also, they are running a discount at the moment, as you can see just there, for 25% off your first order. So we will leave a link in the description down below if you want to pick up your own server. But as you can see right here, mine is actually hosted. But basically, I've got it right there. Well, it's not quite hosted just yet. You need to agree to their terms and then click on order once again. And now it's just waiting for the server to uh, install. As you can see down here, installing, please wait. So just wait for this to go all the way up to the top. But as this is loading, I want to mention Apex Hosting. If you want to get yourself a really high quality server to play with your friends, I recommend checking them out. They are one of the most reliable server hostings out there for Minecraft and also other games as well. So you check them out. I will leave a link in the description down below to check them out. So as you can see right now, mine has loaded. And now it does look quite confusing on this page, but there's nothing to be scared of. It's very simple. So at the start, you can see there's your IP. This is what we created earlier. So you can use that to join your Minecraft server. Now to start your server, just click on the start button just over here. And once you do that, it's going to take a little time to load. Now also, as you can see up here, you've got your cores up here. So you've got one core for your server. You also got your RAM, I think that is. Must be your RAM for your server just there. And you can see how much your server is using just to start up. As you see, mine has now started. So my server is now live and active. You can also see how many players are on your server from up here as well. You also got your console there as well. If you want to give yourself commands, so click on that. And you give yourself some commands and stuff like that. And it looks like the server spawn is still repairing. So it's not quite loaded up just yet. But also in here, you can change your settings. Uh, you've got a bunch of settings in here. You can choose your uh, online mode, allow PvP, all bunch of stuff in here. Also, you've got your versions over here as well. 
so you can change your versions for your Minecraft, and you can do that in here as well. You've got your plugins, now you can add a bunch of plugins in here, you can also search for plugins as well. You've got your maps, so by default it's just the default map, and you can create your own map, so a new map world, or a seed, so that's a new seed you can enter in here. You also got your players as well, so you can see how many players are on your server, and you can also see their usernames and stuff like that from in here. You got your backups as well, just over here. So to upload your own worlds and stuff like that, you will need an FTP. Now you can set this up if you want to. Now I'm not going to show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. You just got to basically read these steps. You can do that straight from here. You will need a little bit of experience on how to do that. But yeah, that's basically how you set a server up on here. And now I'm going to show you the next server hosting. And that is free MC server. So on here you can get yourself a free server up to 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. So basically you can read more here if you want to as well just on this page or come down even further. You can read some more here as well. So it renews every five hours. So every five hours you have to come back to the website and renew it. You've got up to 10 gigabytes of disk space as well. You also got a queue time as well and this is only under high load. So if there's a lot of players on this server hosting you might have a queue and you don't have to wait to get your server to uh, be booted up you've got unlimited slots for players so you've got that as well and you've got mod supports and backups and supported versions as well just here so to create your free server just click on create your free minecraft server now click on that and you will have to sign up to their website so once you've signed up you will have to verify your email address and once you have done that you'll be able to create your server so right here you click on create server now you're going to have to name your server, so I'm just going to name it slow I think, and uh, maybe just add a HD onto that as well, and click on the next button. Now you can choose the available locations, I'm going to choose Europe. So now you can choose what you want for your Minecraft server, so I'm going to choose on uh, probably just the vanilla default one, but you can add mod plugins and bedrock and other as well on the end of these. So I'm just going to click on the default one, and click on next. So I'm just going to do the normal vanilla Minecraft, I think I don't really want snapshots I think this one here just be fine for me. You can choose your version for your Minecraft now. I'm just going to keep it 1.20.2 and click on next. Now it's up to you what you want to do on this one. You can set your own website up and sell ranks and things like that. I'm going to do this as a no just because it's very simple. I'm going to leave that as no and click on create my server. So once you've done all that, your server should look a bit like this. So there's a bunch of stuff you can do in here. I'm not going to explain every single one of these because I've already explained very similar ones just previously. And uh, yeah, basically everything is very similar. But to start your server, just scroll down and you can click on the start server just here. So click on that and it's going to take a little bit of time for it to start up. So as you can see as well, my server does expire in three hours, but you can click on renew there to just to renew that. I'm not too sure if you get three hours or five hours. I have not tested that. But yeah, three hours of playtime is quite a lot of playtime to play on a Minecraft server. And then all you've got to do is just renew it. So to get your IP address, it is right here. So that is the IP address you can use to join your Minecraft server. So just click on the little copy button there and then you can go over to Minecraft and join your Minecraft server. So that is how you basically set up free Minecraft servers. If you did enjoy this video, I really appreciate it. You did leave a like on this video and also if you subscribed as well, that would be amazing. But that is it for this video and I'll see you all in the next one.